Hello and welcome to this overview for Dynamics 365 Sales. We're going to be exploring how to use it and why it's useful and how it can benefit your business. This video isn't trying to cover every feature and nuance of the sales app, but to cover the core features and how it can benefit your company. Sales is a part of the Dynamics 365 family, a next generation of CRM software based in the cloud. To put it simply, it helps you understand and build closer relationships with your customers using powerful, out-of-the-box tools and using integrations. Some of these highlights include shortening the sales cycle. By using a single workspace, see a clear list of achievable tasks to complete, such as phone calls and scheduling. You can immediately understand their sales ready status, which is qualified using your own business metrics. Providing one workspace helps your sales team stay focused and provides them with everything they need to engage with the right customer and enables them to increase productivity. Build relationships. With native LinkedIn integration, you can view contextual profiles and gain insights for accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunity records. Track opportunities where relationship status with a single score based on signals revealing health and risks. Seamless collaboration. Access customer data and insights in Microsoft Teams to collaborate productively with the sales team. Use embedded Microsoft Teams chats in Dynamics 365 for real-time collaboration within the sales team. Predict and manage pipelines with confidence. With sales, you can predict revenue fluctuations and highlight areas of focus from top to bottom of the funnel. This enables you to gain visibility across the entire cycle, spot potential strengths and weaknesses, and reduce time on reporting with out-of-the-box reports. By using Dynamics, you can support your sales team to serve your customers faster and better. Identify and prioritize opportunities, and most importantly, increase your sales. So now we'll move on to the application itself and we can investigate how we can take advantage of the sales app's offerings. Immediately, you can see a menu along the left-hand side, much like the other applications, such as marketing and field service, which you can use to navigate across the app. The initial landing page, depending on your own configuration, is usually a dashboard showing you the top-level sales metrics. You can switch between different graphs on the top left of your view, Using tools such as Power BI, you can create a custom, shareable dashboard and graphs if you want to represent data that is more pertinent to your business. You may want to display metrics such as average deal size, sales one-way industry, age of opportunity or loss percentage. Using your own data, you can gain powerful insights at a glance. How and what data typically gets stored in Dynamics 365 sales? Perhaps the most important is the accounts entity. If we navigate to the left menu, we'll be able to see this and clicking a view that shows a snapshot of your account list, most likely to be your company customers if you're a B2B enterprise. As we see here, it gives basic information about each account, such as name, relationship, who in your business manages the account, and contact details. You can quickly manipulate the list order using the column arrow keys, or perform a quick filter using operations such as does not end with, equals, starts from, and so on. You can also edit the columns themselves. If you wish to show more information about the account, by clicking the table icon on the top right, which will surface a panel to add, remove, or change the order of the columns. If we click on the account, it will show all of the relevant data for the business. This is organized with menu tabs at the top, which can be customized. On the main view, you have basic account information on the top left, such as account details. We also have some financial information in the middle, and below that, we have a communication timeline. This is useful for sales teams to pick up on the status of a sale, who's involved, and can give you insight on how to move forward. The right column gives a list of contacts who likely work for the account or are associated with the business. Dynamics 365 also has an AI sales assistant feature which can provide important suggestions or relevant notifications. 
If we navigate to the top menu, we can also view outstanding sales orders for this account, showing its details, such as how much has been ordered and what they have purchased. It's likely you will have an ongoing contract with the business, so we have a tab for this too. This shows the start and renewal dates and details of the agreement between you and the business. If we click the arrow icon under account name, we can switch between views which shows different configurations for display information. If we go ahead and click on Sales Insights, then click the Relationship Analytics, we can drill down and get valuable data on how organisations are communicating. As we see at the top, we get a general summary of metrics that include who has contacted, who the most, response rate and time invested. On the left, we have a list of contacts from both organisations that are communicating. In the middle panels, we have some graphical representation of time invested and time to respond. Then finally, at the bottom, we have a timeline showing communication between your organisations. This is a useful tool to show if a customer is neglected and demonstrates their level of interest in you. Alternatively, it may be a good indicator of their lack of interest compared to your level of investment in them. You could make a comparison with other customers and set targets based on these relationship analytic insights. A running theme with Dynamics 365 is flexibility. Each business is different and operates with different objectives. So it's important that your system can be customized to suit whatever you need. The out of the box views for accounts are a good fit for many businesses, however. On top of this, Dynamics 365 is designed to scale up and be useful across teams and departments. That's why integration and collaboration with the Microsoft stack is a cornerstone of the platform. On many views, accounts included, you can see in the top menu a label for collaboration. If you have Microsoft Teams installed, you can go ahead and click this button, which will allow you to share the same exact view with your colleagues directly from inside Teams. So how could this be useful? If you're both working on an opportunity, you could use this so you're all on the same page. You can see who's driven, the latest communication and when, what the expectations of the customer are, where they are in the sales cycle and so on. Keeping your teams aligned is critical in the modern sales environment, where buyers have all the power and good service is non-negotiable, as buyers have a wealth of information to choose from and you are likely to have many competitors. Buyers don't like to be pushed from pillar to post or ignored. So having a shared interface can be the difference between the lapse of communication and a record sale. Dynamics and Office 365 also has native integration, meaning out of the box, there is a menu label on the top bar for exporting to Excel. You can also live edit in browser for quick editing. You can also import data this way. However, with mass updating, we advise you to be careful and speak with your own partner before taking any of these types of actions. Let's move on to leads and explore how Dynamics organizes them and how you can use the platform to identify which to target first. Like on accounts, you can filter and change the columns of the leads listed. I should also mention, you can save these views and choose to filter from the top left. A salesperson, for example, may just want to chase their own leads or take a look at leads older than six months. You can also perform quick options by selecting multiple leads from here and clicking qualify or disqualify them immediately. A fantastic new feature is that you can call leads from inside Dynamics 365 using integrated Microsoft Teams, keeping a wealth of information in front of you so you're ready for a productive call. Not only that, it's possible to get real time transcription, insights and action items as well as full recordings and rich call summaries. This means details aren't missed and can be shared across a team, enhancing the communication and helping you to deliver that sale. When we click on a specific lead, much like the accounts entity, we can see their basic data, such as location, using Microsoft Bing Maps, contact details, and so on. We also have this flowchart along the top of the screen which shows where the lead is in the sales cycle. Helping you to align with marketing teams, you can see the engagement they've had with the business 
such as if they've seen your emails, filled in forms, or interacted with your website. This visibility may give your sales teams indicators on where they are in the customer journey. We can enhance this further too, using lead score models created specifically to your business. You can create attributes or behaviours of a lead and assign a numerical score. When this score threshold has been reached, they will be identified as sales ready, triggering your sales teams to target them to make a purchase or start a conversation. So let's play out a scenario where you've found a lead in the system, you've nurtured them, and they are interested in a potential purchase. We can use Dynamics to recall this as an opportunity in the system. If we navigate to Opportunities under Sales on the left-hand menu, we can see existing records or we can create a new opportunity. Each opportunity is attached to an account and its primary contact. Businesses trade differently and therefore this is often customised to shape how you operate. In this case, we can choose an ID that's unique to this opportunity for reference. We can also decide what product they'll be choosing and set up costings and quantities with pre-configured prices. Like other views, we can see the interactions a business has had with the customer and we can view their set budgets too. Once you have set up an opportunity, you can also create a quote for your customer. Here you can assign a price list and enter data for discounts, shipping and taxes. We can also perform analysis such as gross margin calculations, scheduling, profitability and the quote compared against customer expectations. Now if we reflect on our sales scenario, the customer has shown interest through marketing, then sales nurturing. We've created an opportunity, then we've progressed to creating a quote that we've attached to it. The customer wants to go ahead, so we will create a sales order. We can do this on the left hand menu under professional services. By opening this view, we'll see a list of outstanding sales orders with relevant data such as ID, sales manager, dates and so on. If we are to create a new order, we'll be able to add all of these kinds of information here. Most importantly, we'll be able to set up pricing for the types of purchases they've made. In this case, we'll set this up as an hourly rate as if we were a service business. We can then allocate who is responsible for carrying out the job and schedule times for the work to be carried out and input times entries. Once we have filled in the information, we can click save at the top to finish creating the record. Required fields often include owner, ID number, order type and costings, but your system will likely have other requirements before you can save. Like quotes, you can attach this to an opportunity record, so we have a full end-to-end -end process of a sales cycle that is linked together in Dynamics, helping to keep your system organised and easy to navigate. Another feature of Dynamics Sales is agreements. It's possible your business has ongoing contracts with customers, so you can add records for the details of this in the application. To do this, navigate to the left-hand menu where you should see agreements. The view will look similar to the other list we've looked at before and show an ongoing active agreements. If we click New, we can see how we'll create an agreement for a customer. We can attach accounts, set the start and renewal dates, set the type of service you'll be delivering, and input commercial information. Once you've finished filling in the forms, remember to click Save at the top of the screen. A great tool in sales is Activity Scheduling. This is used to help schedule appointments, tasks, phone calls with prospects and customers so you can keep your day-to-day -day organised. This can be automated as well and fits with the marketing application. For example, your marketing team create an automation process for email communication whereby if an action is taken by the contact, such as an email click, a call is then scheduled for you automatically as they've been identified as a potential hot lead. To see a list of activities, navigate to the left-hand menu and by default it will be under My Work. You can also filter so you can only show your own activities or if you are a manager in your organisation you may want to see others as well. If we were to go ahead and click on phone call we can create a new activity for this type and state the subject and who you'll be speaking with. 
You can also attach this to other records for easy organisation and write in the description to give you a prompt when you make the call. Once you're happy with the record, go ahead and click save at the top. Once the activity is taking place, it would be a good idea to complete Mark Complete at the top. Choosing Microsoft means you can leverage a whole host of integrations. One of these includes LinkedIn, a vital tool for sales users who want to engage over the business social networking platform. With Microsoft's acquisition of LinkedIn, Dynamics benefits from native integration with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. With the appropriate licensing and a quick sign-in, you can view an account or contacts LinkedIn profile inside the Sales app. If we go ahead and click on a contact and navigate to the LinkedIn member profile, you will be able to view rich profile data. You can also see mutual connections, so if you are not introduced, you can leverage your network as an icebreaker. In addition, you can send direct emails from Dynamics. We can also save them inside a lead list on LinkedIn Sales Navigator as well. So we have a two-way integration. This means we don't have the pitfalls of data duplication and maintaining contacts for two different systems. They work together seamlessly. In a recent update to the Dynamics Sales app, with the Sales Premium or Enterprise license, we have access to a new feature called Deal Manager. Currently in preview, this is a dedicated workspace for sellers to efficiently manage their sales pipeline. As a seller, you can personalise the workspace for your own needs. As a seller, you can personalise the workspace depending on what you want to see. You can organise opportunities in a way that makes sense to you. Personalise your view, update information on the fly, add notes and tasks and much more. You can also ask your administrator to customise the experience further to improve your productivity. We have data filters out of the box, such as displaying only your own opportunities or one opportunities. These can be customised with your own filters too, by clicking the label on the top right of your screen. This top information row gives you an overview for that particular view, such as total value, how many have been won, lost and so on. The chart underneath this can be used in two ways. The deal tracker shows individual opportunities over a timeline, with each circle size representing the financial revenue. An opportunity's vertical plotting represents the predictive scoring, with bigger the score, higher the plot. We can also click on each opportunity, which services a panel on the right of your screen, enabling you to view extra information, add notes and tasks, and collaborate with teams. We also have access to a sales funnel graph, which shows all the opportunities in the different stages of the sales cycle, such as qualified, develop, propose, and close. If we hover over each cycle stage, we can see the financial sum of all its opportunities and the percentage of opportunities in that stage. We can click on this as well, which will drill down to focus only on that cycle. The bottom of your view will show the same data as the graph, just represented in a list format, which you can use to quick find, organise the list into groups and edit the columns. We think this workspace will prove very popular for sales users as it provides a bird's eye view of the opportunities in your pipeline and lets you manage your deals more easily and intuitively. Having quick insights into where deals are and which are at risk is a powerful tool that can give you the competitive edge. The funnel chart shows you a good mix of deals in all stages and helps you take actions, which at its core is really what Dynamic Sales is trying to do for your business. Hopefully this overview has been helpful and informative. If still in the process of choosing a CRM or are looking to build upon your existing Dynamics platform, perhaps this video on the Sales app will help you to make that decision. Either way, I'm grateful for you to taking this time to watch. If you have further questions, please get in contact with us at Services. We're a leading Microsoft Gold partner in the UK and we'll be happy to help. Thank you and I'll see you next time.